Binara wa muungano wa One Kenya Lions Kalonzo Musyoka na Musali Mudavadi Jumapili hiyo wamepeleka kampeni zao katika maeneo tofauti nchini huku kila mmoja akitafuta uungwaji mkono kwenye azma yao ya kumrithi Rais Kenyatta baadaye mwaka huu katika uchaguzi mkuu. Mudavadi aliyekuwa nyamira amesema kwamba atatangaza azma yake baadaye mwezi huu huku akiwasuta wanaomkosoa kuhusiana na anachokipanga kisiasa. Kalonzo naye amekuwa meru akitafuta uungwaji mkono na chama cha EDP bas kinachoongozwa na gavana Kirai Tumurungi Leila Mohamed amezungumza na wachambuzi wanaopembua pumba na ngano kuhusu mstakbali wa Oka Kinara wa ANC Musalia Mudavadi amehakikishia wafuasi wake kwamba kufikia mwisho wa mwezi huu watajua njia atakayochukua kisiasa Mudavadi amesema haya leo alipokuwa Nyamira sisi tutatoa msimamo ambao utaelekeza direction ya Kenya itachukua kisiasa. Na mimi nataka niwaambie wa kisi ama kusi vanyamira. Tarehe 23 msimamo wa ANC utatoa msisimko wa ardhi mpaka Kenya itotemeke na watu wajue siasa ya Kenya inaelekea wapi. Huko Meru, Kalonzo Musyoka alikutana na gavana wa kaunti hiyo Kiraito Murungi na kumuomba kujiunga naye katika muungano wa Oka ambao amesisitiza kwamba hajauhamana wala hana mipango ya kufanya hivyo. Tumekubaliana na Kiraito ndugu yangu Kiraito kwamba lazima tuokoe Kenya hii. Kwa hivyo basi ya Kiraito na Waipa tutaungana kwa kuandika mkataba maalum ili kabla ya kungojea BBI phase 2 sisi tunaanza mara moja. Kalonzo amesisitiza kuwa ndiye mgombea mwenye ushawishi mkubwa nchini na kwa maantiki hiyo anafaa kubeba bendera ya Oka lakini baadhi ya wachambuzi wana maoni tofauti. It depends on how Kalonzo is going into the game. Is he going alone as Kalonzo Wiper or is he going in as Kalonzo as a flag bearer for Oka? You get it? If Kalonzo goes on his own there will not be very much impact in terms of the the, the tally he will get the votes he will get but if he goes as a flag bearer for Oka deputized say by Mdavadi they will get significant votes and that could kind of have some impact on the Ruto Raila campaign yeah but if he goes on his own he's not likely to get very many votes and that could play into the hands of Raila yeah kuwepuko Musalia au Kalonzo kama mgombea urais wa Oka kunaweza kusukuma uchaguzi wa urais katika duru ya pili small chance that they could force a run out i don't see them forcing a run out certainly if they go on their own david runs on his own kalonzo there will be no run out but even that slim chance i don't give it much much hope the only person who can cause a run out in this country is a kikuyu candidate If Kikuyu decide they are going to settle on of their own and give him a significant backing of over 40%. Mwangi Wairia, Jimmy Wanjigi, Justin Muturi, you know the Mount Kenya people. Those are the only people who can force a runoff because they will reduce uh, Ruto's tally significantly. You, you, you get it. Uh, but Oka, I don't see them forcing a runoff. But they are necessary in the, in the Raila camp. Because then most of the votes Ruto would get would go to Mdavadi if he stood. Wanaofahamu siasa za wanasiasa nchini wamesema kwamba sio muda ambao utatatua kizungumkuti kinachowakumba wanaoka kwa sasa na bali ni wao kujipanga upya. This thing is for Raila and Ruto. So these ones have no chance. But what I can tell you is in my own thinking immediately this bill goes through the bill now in Senate the political parties bill It will set in motion events that they will shake this country politically in terms of alignment. Lila Muhammad and TV. And these things are all happening very